Warning, this channel and its contents are meant for those over the age of 21 and is for educational and documentary purposes only. We do not condone any illegal or illicit activity. Any grower questions or comments, please leave a comment or email me at pattymcstoner at gmail.com. Please enjoy. What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining me. I'm Patty McStoner. And this is my weekly Seed to Harvest series where I take you day by day through my process and give you all my thoughts along the way. Smash that like button. Let's get it growing. At the beginning of week four, everything's looking good. All the leaves are praying up towards the light and nice and flat. Everything's nice and green and looking good. Um, we do have some yellowing starting to show up on the bottom leaves. Now, ultimately, because it's only a couple of the plants and everything else, as far as the new growth, looks green and is flat and looking good, I'm not going to do anything about this. That's right, you heard me right. I'm not going to do anything. Like I said, everything else looks good and they're growing fast. And remember, when you're growing plants, today's problems happened a week ago. And I probably already fixed the problem when I fed them on day 21. And besides, it's survival of the fittest up in this garden. And if one of the ladies isn't getting along with the rest of them and is asking for special treatment that the other ones don't get, I don't keep her around. I just get rid of her. And that can happen for as simple of a thing as just wanting to be on a different watering schedule than the rest of them. I always start a few extra seeds, then I plan to flower because not all these ladies are gonna make the cut. And I've learned that because of my light rotation schedule, I have to keep a couple of plants on hand so that I don't end up with a half full flower tent. I switch these ladies into their solo cups at the end of the day on day 27. I ended up planting this season in uh, soil, Fox Farms Happy Frog. I don't amend it or do anything to it other than I leave it in a tote bin uh, for a couple of weeks before I use it just so it can dry out so I don't have any problems with bugs. I went with soil because it's the easiest way that I know how to grow. It takes the nutrients almost completely out of the equation. The amount of nutrients I'll end up giving these at the end of the day um, is next to nothing. And that there guys officially ends the seedling stage. Whew, I know right? So it, it starts moving faster from here. Make sure you stay tuned next week and join me for week one of veg where these get hit with LED lights for the first time. Um, I have nutrient and lighting videos still coming out. Make sure you stay tuned for that. If you like the content, please smash that like button and leave your comments to get in on the contest. For every time you leave a comment, it's another entry into the contest. I'll leave a link to the video about the contest in the description below. I'll catch you on the next one.